Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. Now this is actually a special Labor Day version of One Man Stream. And what we're going to do today is we're actually going to expand on a, a couple topics uh, that we brought up in some previous tutorials. In episode 72, tutorial was entitled Creating a Production Dashboard from vMix Data Sources. And then a few tutorials um, before that, I showed you how to create in GT Title Designer a slide and reveal graphic. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to bring uh, an Excel spreadsheet data source into your vMix production. Uh, we're going to show you how to do that uh, directly from an Excel spreadsheet. And then we're going to show you how to map uh, that graphic uh, in GT Title Editor. So today on One Man Stream, it's mapping a graphic uh, with an Excel data source. Uh, we're going to have that and so much more for you on today's episode. And if you stick around to the very end, I'll show you how just by creating uh, three buttons, uh, you can control that uh, spreadsheet, that data source spreadsheet uh, with vMix UTC. So uh, sit back and enjoy it. It should be a lot of fun. So to, And this is all provided to me. And I made an Excel spreadsheet out of it. And let's get to the top of it. And here's the Excel spreadsheet. So all I did is I took the different segments and this one right here says game opening. And within this segment, we have a disclaimer and then also uh, attached with this is the pregame intro. So then we'll go over here and you'll see where it says pregame break one. And then we have all of the, the different commercials we're gonna be running in break one. I also set this up uh, with the different, input, uh, the different inputs. Uh, all of my video inputs are located on input nine. I brought that in as a list, and this particular list, input nine, is um, the list of all the video assets that we're gonna play. This right here, input six, input six is actually the graphic that we're gonna work with today. Uh, that is the slide and reveal graphic. And as you can see in this graphic, on this particular portion of the show, it's one of one. So I know in this particular segment, I only have one graphic that's going to go uh, with this one that we're getting ready to show. And this is for the Bowling Green Purples. This right here, I'll double click on this. You can see that this is actually an image uh, that I brought in. And I'll show you how we incorporate, incorporate that within uh, the graphic. This right here is the top text and it's the, the uh, name of the team. And this is the Bowling Green Purples. Right here is the subtext. This is top text, this is subtext. And the subtext says 5A runner-up uh, last year. And then the main text shows this previous game. So just by going up and down in this data source, I'm able to change the graphics as I go along. I don't have to create, well, for the, this is actually a pretty extensive layout. And I think I counted it once before. I think there's just in the pregame show alone, there's about 26 uh, graphics. Don't have to make 26 individual graphics. What I can do is I can make one graphic and with this data source, I can populate uh, that single graphic with all these different pieces of information. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right down here and you can see that the data source, uh, the hamburger menu is red, and that means that we have a data source that's active. So let's go ahead and click on that, and then we're gonna click on data source manager. So we're gonna click on the plus button right here, and then we're gonna click on Excel CSV. We're gonna go over here, here to browse, and this happens to be on my uh, server here at home. So I'm gonna click on network, I'm gonna click on one man stream, I'm gonna click on Glycod assets and right here is the Excel spreadsheet we want to incorporate so we're going to click open and I'm going to click this button right here that says use first row as column names and you'll see why in just a minute so let's go ahead and click OK and then it brings in all that information from uh, that Excel spreadsheet so that's the first part now we have the data source that's coming into our vMix production so let's go ahead and minimize this the next thing we need to do is we need to pull in our graphic. This is our graphic right here, but just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you how we do this from scratch. So let's go ahead and we're gonna click on Add Input. I'm gonna click on Title, and then we're gonna to go to Browse, and then I'm gonna click Cancel. 
because I know that under recents, I just recently uh, brought this one in to this particular computer. And so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click OK. Now, when I made it, I put information in just uh, as for a placeholder, but we're going to go ahead and get rid of all this so that then we can map it as a data source. So I'm just going to click the delete button right here on my keyboard and get rid of that. You see right here where we had the top text and then we had the subtext. You saw those categories uh, in the spreadsheet. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of this. And then under images, we have two images. We have a coach's image, and that's what I use for just one series of graphics. Um, when we're uh, detailing the home, uh, the home team coach and the visiting team coach, I use their image, but I don't need that right now. So I'm going to click on this button right here, and it's going to hide it. This is the Glycod image. Uh, this is the company that I do the particular football production for. And that should have us with a blank canvas except for uh, the Glycod logo. So let's go ahead and bring that in. And you can see that image right there. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you how we map this particular graphic with the information that we brought in from that Excel spreadsheet. So for right now, we're going to go ahead and just get rid of that graphic. So I'm going to send it back away. And then let's go to this view right here, but I need to bring in this image. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on title editor. And then you can see right here, it says data sources. So we're going to click on this data source and then we're going to click from the drop down menu. And it's good. This would bring in any data source that we currently have in this particular uh, vMix setup. The only one we have is the Excel spreadsheet. And on this particular spreadsheet, there is just one sheet to it. So that is entitled sheet one. So we'll stay with this. And this is the main text. So what we're going to do under columns, and now you can see why I checked that button. So when I click this drop down menu, I'm looking for this right here where it says main text. So I'm going to click on this. So when I click OK, right now, this text right here is going to be mapped to the main text on the Excel spreadsheet. So we click OK. Now this one right here is uh, top text. So we're going to go back to the data source. We're going to pull up the Excel spreadsheet. It is sheet one again and we're on top text. So that's what we're looking for. So let's see if we can find that right here. Team name top text. So we're going to click on that. And under row, I'm going to leave it as selected because we want to be able to select the particular row we want and have that information displayed. So we're going to click OK. The next one, we're going to go to subtext. Once again, we're going to click on data source. We're going to choose the Excel spreadsheet. Sheet one is automatically defaulted for us. And now we're on subtext. So we're going to come here to where it says subtext and click OK. Now under images, we can do that as well. For the coach's image, we're going to click on that. We're going to go to data source. We're going to go back to the Excel spreadsheet, sheet one again. And we should have something here that says coach's photo right there. So we're going to click on coach's photo. Again, we're going to leave row as selected and click OK. Under this one right here, under Glycod image, we're going to click data source again. Sheet one automatically defaults for us. We're going to click on graphic image and we're going to leave this as selected and we're going to click OK. Click on the hamburger menu, click on data source. There it is. And we'll go ahead and we'll spread it out. Let me bring it down a little bit. OK, and as we said, this particular graphic is input six. So let's bring this over a little bit. There we go. OK, so this is where we're going to start right here at number 14. So when I click on number 14, you'll see the graphic will populate with the data in row 14. So that's that first row right there. You can see where it has the logo right here. You can see where it has the top text where it says Bowling Green Purples, and then it says Bowling Green Purples up here. You can see the subtext here, 5A Runners Up in 2022, that's right here. And then you can see the main text. So let's go to the next line, line 15. 
and you can see how all that information changes. This is the coach's package. This is uh, one of five. And uh, again, you can see, see the top text, Bowling Green Purples, the subtext is head coach right there. And then here's the main text. Let's go to the next line. You can see again where it says Bowling Green Purples, top text, head coach, subtext. And then this part uh, about where Coach Spader graduated from Hopkinsville High School and he attended, attended UK. You see all that information here. The next part is playoff history. And you can see where that uh, brings that information in. And let's just go ahead and click through these. And each time we click to a new row, you can see that new information is brought in. And you can see as we click this one how the information changes. We have a different logo set up. This is the Mel High School logo right here. You can see where the top, tech, top text now says Mel Bulldogs and then the subtext says head coach and then there's information about head coach Chris Wolf. And I'll go ahead and click through these. Each time I click you can see how that graphic changes. Click the next row, the information changes. We click the next row. And you can see how beneficial this will be for you during the course of the ball game. You won't have to create all these different graphics. All you do is create the spreadsheet. Once you create it and have the template set up, you just need to go in for each game and change the, uh, that particular information. And it makes it so much simpler and it doesn't use near as many resources uh, on your vMix. So the last thing I was going to show you is I was going to show you how to control this um, spreadsheet using vmix utc so let's go ahead and open up vmix utc now this is the vmix utc interface so what we're going to do is we're going to create three buttons this first one we're going to call this uh, first row and we're going to go through and, and you've probably noticed by now that these uh, the vmix uh, commands are listed in different sections so we're going to go to data sources which is right here at the end and we're going to select this one right here that says data source select row and we're going to put zero in here to select the very first row and we're going to click OK. So that's going to automatic, automatically select the first row for us. And we're going to duplicate this. All I did was click on the double pieces of paper right here. It says duplicate widget and I'll bring that down and I'm going to change this one to next. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to choose data source next row. And then I'm going to duplicate this one, bring it down a little bit. And I'm going to call this previous. Oops. Previous. And then I'm going to change this command to data source previous row. Now, one more thing that we need to do when we're setting up these buttons here is we need to tell it what the name and the table is. So it's Excel backslash CSV comma sheet one. And click, well, let's go ahead and copy this because it's going to be the same for all three buttons. So let's go ahead and bring our graphic back in and our data source. And then we're going to click the first row button right here. And you can see where it takes us to the first row on our data source. Well, we have this graphic here and it's ready to go, but we don't have anything until we get way down here to 14. So let's just go ahead and keep clicking next. And you can see how it goes down in the list. And then when we get to 14, it's going to bring in all that information, and it does. So we'll click the next button, and it'll bring in what's in 15, and it does. But say we wanted to go back to uh, row 14, if we hit the previous button here, it would take us back to 14. And if we wanted to start all the way over at the top again, we click this button right here, and it takes us back to the top. 
This is the way that I use it during my production. I bring it in as a data source in vMix, and then I control it uh, with a layout that I created, especially for vMix UTC uh, for, for, for uh, high school football. So we covered a lot of ground today. Uh, actually, we rehashed some things today. We brought in the slide and reveal graphic. We showed you how you brought that in uh, to your vMix production. We showed you how to bring in the Excel spreadsheet as a data source within vMix. We showed you how to map the graphic uh, that we brought in to the data source. And then we showed you how to, cr how to operate uh, that graphic or operate that spreadsheet via UTC uh, by creating these three buttons here that we created rather quickly. That will conclude our tutorial for today. If you like what we're trying to do here at One Man Stream, give, please give us a thumbs up and a like. And please make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And as always, thank you so much.